Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this in Blender. I'm using Blender 3.6 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. First, we're going to modeling the ice cube. So start with press shift plus A to add a cube. Go to modifier and add a subdivision surface. Make it simple and change both numbers to 3. Also add a bevel and just leave it like this. Then add a displace modifier and drag it so it's over the bevel. Click on New and go to the texture. And change the type to Cloud. Change the size to 0.33. Go back to the modifier and change the strength to 0.5. Then right-click and shade it smooth. Let's make a texture for it. So go to Shading Click New. Change GGX to Multi-Shatter GGX. Drag the transmission to 1 and the clear coat to 1 as well. Then add a Fresnel and change the IOR to 1.150. Add a math and plug the Fresnel to the math. Change to multiply and change the value to 2. Add another math and plug the value to the value. Then change the value to 0 0.1. And then plug the value to roughness. Then add a bump node and plug that into normal. Change the strength to 0 0.075. Then add a noise texture node and plug the fan to height. Change the scale to 2.010, the detail to 2.880, and then the roughness to 0 0.425. Then add an another bump node and plug that into clear coat normal. Change the strength to 0 0.117. Then add a noise texture node and plug the fac to height. Change the scale to 4.810, and the detail and roughness to same as the other one you did. Let's make some fluid simulation, but before that, press H to hide your ice cube. Add another cube. Then press S plus 5 to scale the cube by 5. Then press S plus Z plus 2 to scale on the Z axis. Then go to the physics. Select fluid. Change the type to domain. The change the domain type to liquid. Then add a UV sphere. Press G plus Z and move it on the Z axis. And select the fluid as well and select flow and make the flow type to liquid and the inflow. Check the initial velocity and change the Z to minus 5. The go back to your domain. Scroll down and change the type to modular so you can bake each thing separate. See and don't forget to check the resumable. And also change the end to 100 and the end frame 100 as well. Scroll up and change the resolution to 128. For better results, make that number higher. And just so you know, in the results video, I use 150 in resolution. But for this tutorial, I'm doing 128. Then scroll down to the liquid settings and check the mesh. Change the upris factor to 4, and then click on Bake Mesh. Wait for the bake to baking. Then right-click and shade it smooth. Also add the smooth modifier and change the repeat to 5. So now we have some water. Let's make a material for it. Go to the shading and select new material. Change the roughness to 0, the transmission to 1, and the IOR to 1.33. Change the color to full white. Click Shift A to add a Fresnel and connect to emission. Also add a color ramp and change the IOR to 1.03. Look what we got. Now we're doing rigid body. Unhide the ice cube by pressing Alt plus H or OPT plus H for Mac user like me. And now we're going to do a slide. Something the ice can fall on and slide down. So to make that slide, add a plane. Press G plus Z to move on the Z axis. Press S plus 5. The go to the edit mode and select the two dots and go to front view by pressing one on your numpad. This is how you enable the numpad. Go to edit, the preferences, go to the input and check the emulate numpad. And press G plus Z to move it on the Z axis. Go to edge and select the two edges and press E to expand. Then go back to this one and select these four dots and press F to fill. Then select these four dots and press S to scale it down. So now we're doing the rigid body settings. Select the ice cube. Go to the physics. First we're doing the fluid. Change the type to effector. Select the slider and select rigid body. Change the type to passive. Then change the shape to mesh. Then select the ice, add the rigid body, and leave the type to active. And now, when we've the setting done, we can duplicate the ice by pressing Shift plus D. Duplicate the ice as many you wants to. Change positions and rotate all ice cubes as you wants. And when you're satisfied, go back to the domain settings and set all settings free and bake it all over again. Now you can see the ice cubes affect the water. And don't forget to play around with the settings as you wants.
Add a plane to make a background. Press R plus X plus 90 to rotate in the X axis. Press S plus 15 to scale. Now add lights. Start with adding a point light. Press G plus Y to move it on the Y axis. Go to the light settings and change the power to 2000W. Then add an area light and place this like this. Go to the light setting and change the power to 500W. Press Shift plus A to add another area light and place it like this. Change the power to 300W. Also add a camera from the front view. Make the focal length to 100 mm and drag it back on the Y axis. Don't forget to press this little green camera so it's get active. And something I like to do is drag this all the way to one so it's black around. So I'll show you my render settings. So I render in cycles and GPU. Check the denoise and the noise threshold. Also change it to 0.1 so you can render faster. My max samples I use is 300. I also like to use motion blur, so check that if you want. Then go to the output. Change the file format to FMPEG video, the encoding to MPEG4, and last go to the video and the make the video codec to H264. Then go to render over here and click on render animation and wait for your video to render. And here is my result. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my tutorial.